should you tip during the holidays? Well, people that you um, can have a service from routinely. That's what me and my wife have been talking about. Um, you know, do you tip the mailman, the garbage guy, all that stuff? We're trying to get a generalization of how much. I do tip the uh, the paper boy, uh, the, actually the paper man now. <laughs> how much are you tipping the hairdresser? And your hair looks lovely, so I'm thinking you should give her a good tip. I do. I actually just got a haircut this morning, took care of him, gave him an extra, I think they say generally around whatever it costs, four, the cut itself plus that. You have to tip the babysitter. She's watching your kid. You can't not tip her. It's actually a cousin, and I'm still looking for something for her. I would say usually what she makes, just another week's salary or whatever it is, how much we ever pay her for the week, that's what we would give her. Emily Post would be very proud of you. <laughs> uh, no dog walker? No. No nope. carrier. I leave a uh, an envelope in the in the mailbox, thanking them for their service throughout the year. Twenty bucks in the envelope for all their hard work that they okay. do. Now, the postal carrier is a federal employee. Yeah, He's technically not supposed, not supposed to. So we won't give his name. <laughs> uh, do you know your postal carrier's name? Uh, I think it's Steve. <laughs> I think it's Steve. Right. Uh, yes, yeah, John. Everyone needs some some tips and. It doesn't hurt, especially in this hard economic time that everyone's facing. I mean, if you have an extra, even if it's just an extra buck or some, bake some cookies for $5 and just show that you care. I think that's all that matters.